Welcome back to part two. So in the last video we went through pretty much getting a camera to follow along a large scene area. So we're working with this before. So I'm gonna show you how to pretty much just rotate, scale, or skew camera. This shouldn't be taking long, but in case you want to do that with the cameras, maybe kind of distort your images without having to distort your whole composite. This will be helpful for you. So we were working with this before, and I guess what I would like to do is to rotate my camera along this bridge. So it will seem kind of crazy, but I'll do it anyway. So say for example, from frame 80, I'll just set myself a nice keyframe there. And at frame 140, I would have wanted my camera to spin at least once as the, the view kind of continues on its own. So you instead of using your translate tool, you're going to go to your rotate tool. And of course, I have animate on. So once I start making some motion with my advanced animation tools, you'll see a keyframe pop up right over here. Okay, so just watch that. Well, I'll come back to you. So we're gonna just rotate this a bit. So we see you complete 360 or more. So between frame one, between frame 80 and frame 140, my camera would have spun once following the trajectory that we had established before. So let's go back to frame one and see what happens over here. So just gonna press play. Sorry, it follows. It's frame 80, then just spins upside down and continues, right? So that's what would happen if we were doing our rotation. So instead of using the translate tool, you'd use the rotation tool to do that. Alright? Let's undo that, the whole rotation going on there. And what we're going to do this time is we're going to scale our camera. Alright? We're back to this. It's a straight motion across. So this time we're going to scale. So we use 80 and 140 again. So at a keyframe, this point here. I'll turn off the camera mask and my safe area. So next is your translate tool. So I'm going to come over to frame 140 again. And this time I'm going to scale my camera. Now you don't see anything going on here right now. But we kind of want to resize our camera. So let's get this done. So here's what we do. If you remember we're using translate, you'd actually see the arrows. But right now we're actually in scale mode. So all you basically have to do is you just drag. And I'll just zoom out so you can actually see. That we're working with the top view so we look at the top view while i do this i'm just going to drag and you see kind of the camera spanning a greater width the camera itself is not moving away you know it's just spanning a greater width so if we do this 
Can I get a nice focus going on here? Really, really fine lens. We just zoom back out and we that there. So we could do something like this. So I'll just drag this to about a hundred and I'll just come back to this keyframe here. I'll actually copy it by pressing Ctrl C. And at 140, I just press, I paste it, which is Ctrl V. So I'm get about the same size for my camera. And of course, I'll go back to my translate tool and I'll just move my camera back into the right position where it should be. So what should happen now is from 80 to 100, it's going to kind of zoom in. Remember, we didn't actually push the camera closer to the objects. We just kind of rescaled it. So if we play this out, you should see something kind of like this. Moving the target, it comes zoom in really close. And goes again and continue. So that one was fancy. And so next we're actually going to go into you. So going back to our loop again. Now skew is pretty much just the same as we saw earlier with scale. So I could start here and my camera continues along this line up to 80. We start again. But this time I'm going to go on the skew tool, which of course allows your you know camera to kind of lean or shift from one side to the next. So right now I'm on frame 80. As you can see. And I'm you notice what my cursor looks like. So I'm just gonna drag this. It kind of leans everything for you. Nothing. So I should have started out really really weird. Kind of skews the entire camera for you. So we started out regular, and then as we go along, we kind of skew the camera for you. So we can re skew it so it goes back to normal, and you kind of see how it does this mess up thing. If you have to show it in render view, that part will be black because by default, your background color for your render view is going to be black. So, whenever you're working with backgrounds, make sure your camera doesn't fly off the background because. Get an unsighted black view here. So I think that's about it. So remember to leave your comments below if you have any questions or requests. I will try to make tutorials as soon as I can. Even though you have this busy semester going on, but hopefully everything works out and I pray God will do something. So y'all. Have a good day, evening, afternoon, or night, whatever time you're watching this. And I'm actually going to go through other tutorials having to do with your camera. So look out for those. I'll be making those shortly. Take care. Seconds or out. Oh.